an electric current will generate a circular magnetic field around the current's axis. So basically you pass a wire around the head and you pass electricity through that wire. The electricity doesn't pass through the body. It just creates a magnetic field. And basically an electric current will generate that field and that field will potentially stimulate parts of the brain. The flux of this magnetic field itself can then induce this electromotive force, basically stimulating parts of the cerebral cortex. Building on those of sciences, it was Dr. Anthony Barker and colleagues in 1985 that developed the first transcranial magnetic stimulation device for research application. Barker was optimistic about the future of the technique and its research and therapeutic potential. And in his original publication, he noted that magnetic stimulation of the cortex is particularly effective compared with electrical stimulation, which was the ECT, electroconvulsive therapy. And there was no convulsion, there was no seizure. Because of the ability of the field, of the magnetic field, to pass through high-resistance structures, such as our skull. 